In today's video, we are opening up the brand new set Silver Tempest plus five packs of Lost Origin, real world collector stories from you at home, and would you have done this trade? Let's have some fun. Hey guys, Jared here at Five Pack Magic. Welcome to the studio. And I want to start off today's video with the would you have done this trade? If you remember from the last video in our real world collector story, Carlos just pulled Rainbow Chunkachu. And there was a comment by Pokey Journey about the Chunkachu, which led us to go back and forth and me say, challenge accepted. I'm going to try and trade Carlos for that Chunkachu. Now, we already know that the Rainbow Chunkachu was involved in the, the story. So we're going to do this a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show off first. What did I get from Carlos? Because I had to come up pretty heavy. We went back and forth. He didn't want to let Rainbow Chunkachu go. And I'll blame him. He just pulled it. But hey, challenge for the channel. I had to get it. So I traded Carlos two alternate artwork cards, which I'll show you which one's right after this. But let's see what I got first. So of course, Rainbow Pikachu VMAX from Vivid Voltage. An awesome Leafeon. It's just a fun little card I saw in his collection. I was like, I want to add it to mine. Uh, Venusaur EX from XY Evolutions. Absolutely beautiful card. What else do we have in Oh, a holographic electrode from Jungo, Wizards of the Coast Bands. Where are you at? That's going in my master set. What else? Oh, an awesome looking Umbreon. Tons of Umbreon fans out there. And I think this is the last one. This fun little Dragonite, just a dopey looking holographic Dragonite I had to have. So these are the cards that I traded mainly to get Rainbow Chunkachu and these are the two cards that Carlos wanted. That's right, alternate artwork, Rayquaza V uh, from Evolving Skies and Zorora Aura alternate artwork. Guys, let me know in the comments, would you have done this trade? For our real world collector story, this comes from Instagram. I am the monster's mom, hashtag real world collector. Me and my little one went to the local card shop to buy cards. She first looked at the artwork, narrowed it down to a few packs she liked, then she held each pack and told the shop owner, I'm trying to find the heavy pack. Well, she found the heavy pack. Hashtag double banger. I think we can all relate to that story because I know it is. We all have different techniques. Is it the first pack you see? Is a specific artwork that you're going for? Do you go a certain number deep into the stack? We all have different ways of doing it. Hashtag real world collector. And the moment you've all been waiting for, let's open up the brand new set, Silver Tempest. Now, number one, I need to give a shout out to Most Excellent Games down in Connecticut and our buddy Carlos, who was down there and said, hey, this is a pre-release store and they have Sim Silver Tempest on the shelf. Do you want me to pick these up? They have a pack where you get the build and battle box and three packs for $30. So Carlos, thank you so much for getting this to our channel so we could open these up early build and battle box and like i said in the intro i also have five lost origin packs to open up because i got some left over i know we're running out of time for lost origin season so we got to get those opened up before we are full blown silver tempest and before i crack open up that box guys here is our silver tempest personal chase card list a brand new selection of cards right there today's mission is to cross a couple of those off so inside here, here's the promo card. We're going to get a Sun Flora Silver Tempest stamp on there. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. And we're going to get four packs inside. Tons of chances at some super cool monsters. Eyes. I can't wait. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Tell YouTube I make some super cool stuff. Please subscribe. And if you want to be involved in the conversations, go ahead and comment below because I reply back to everything. But let's just go ahead and crack open. So I haven't watched too many videos on Silver Tempest getting opened up in a black border card to start things off. Um, so we are probably going to go a little slow because I want to check out some of this artwork with you guys. Um, we, you know, my personal chase card list, um, Lugia and Unknown. Those are the two things. I want every single Lugia and I want every single Unknown. 
Um, now my buddy Carlos, he pulled alternate artwork Lugia out of the same bundle that he grabbed with all of this. This is our first chance at a big monster. So let's go and see a holographic Metacham. Super cool looking card, our first holographic. So not too bad. But yeah, Carlos pulled the alternate artwork Lugia. Absolutely beautiful card. And, and I gotta say something too, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll throw it up on screen a little bit better right here. The Lugia V is an absolute monster of a card. I'm thinking back the Dragonite V that was a couple sets ago, and now this Lugia V, the Vs have been absolutely amazing. Um, I can't wait to see it in person. Clink, so definitely uh, Dratini, that's a super cool card. Frostlass and a Zorora or a non holo so still super cool to see. But yeah, if you guys are wondering how did we get this pre-release store, some stores in your areas might be pre-released, so this officially releases on November 11th. That's when we'll see it at uh, GameStop, Barnes & Noble, Target, uh, a lot of your local card shops that aren't pre-release stores, you'll get to see them there. So we did get super lucky. Um, what else is going on in the world? So we opened up the Charizard UPC box. You know, I had a couple Charizards. Pikachu VMAX went over the, uh, the, the VMAX Charizard that was sitting back there, but we had a lot of fun. That was opening up at uh, Rod Shop in Franklin, Mass. We got a big show out there December 11th or December 12th. I think it's December 11th. Either way, I'll be talking about on my Instagram. Ooh, Armaldo. That is a super cool. Isn't it funny? That kind of looks like a... Uh, Sid, the sloth from Ice Age, when I see that immediately. But yeah, we got a big show going on out there and we opened up the Charizard UPC. Um, guys, people are finding those like crazy everywhere. I think a lot of stores are gonna get restocked this Friday. So don't pay the scalpers, anti-scalping channel here. Be patient, everyone's picking them up for $120, $130, pretty easy. Um, I think we got an all eyes on screen situation. Braxton, that's a good looking card. Um, but I think we have an all eyes on screen situation here. This card feels a little bit, I could be absolutely wrong. Who knows? You know, sometimes like in Lost Origin, you could feel it. It was a little bit bigger than the other cards. Let's see what's going on. A regular holographic. So not an absolute monster, a fun looking Pokemon. I've actually never seen that. It's like a, I don't really know, like a gooey kind of Pokemon. So that was the build and battle box. So no absolute monsters out of there. We have three more chances with Silver Tempest. We're gonna crack into Lost Origin because we still have some personal chase cards, including Altar Aerodactyl. We gotta cross off the list. A black border card, so this is a good sign. And guys, I wanna give you two little teasers coming up. One, in our next video, we have traded off Umbreon VMAX alternate artwork card. I know I had so many people, I kind of teased them. I said, hey, Umbreon VMAX is gone. And they're like, no, why did you get rid of that card? You just got it. I don't, ooh, Pikachu, that's fun. A lot of different things going on. I don't know. It's just the opportunity came up. We had a good trade going on and I want to have some fun. Uh, Delphox is an awesome card. And this is going to give us something cool. Kind of looks like a V-Star. And a Reggie Drago V Star, super cool. Let me sleeve it up. So that is our first monster hit of Silver Tempest ever, right there. Uh, we're gonna go V Star for V Star. That makes sense to me. So that is our first monster hit, not off of our personal chase card list, but that's okay. We got two more packs to go, and with Silver Tempest, we continue with the Trainer Gallery cards in the reverse spot as well as three. Uh, radiant cards. Only one Radiant made it into my personal chase card list, my top 20 that I was going for, even though there are some really cool ones, but I had to narrow down my choices to 20 of them, which really was hard enough as it goes, uh, because there's actually a lot of really cool cards in this set. Uh, Lost Origin, uh, and there we go, Pissimian right there is our first trainer gallery card. So another monster hit with a non hollow We knew that because of the code card, but uh, yeah, like with Lost Origin, it was pretty easy for me to narrow down my personal chase card list. Um, but this one here, I think I had like 35 cards picked out on my personal and I had to narrow it down to 20. So very fun set. Good to look forward to. White border card. Oh, that's like super white. That one's weird looking. Um, so this is our last pack. We'll see how the reverse goes. And we are going to dive into Lost Origin, hopefully pulling alternate artwork Aerodactyl. So 
I did tell you guys in the next video, we'll be seeing Umbreon VMAX Alt Art go away. A super big trade side guard. That's a cool looking card and a non-hollow just like we expected. Um, so that'll be going away. Um, but we are in the planning a 100 pack live stream. I did uh, announce it a little bit in the last video. Um, 100 pack live stream of Silver Tempest as soon as possible. Guys, I'm gonna cut camera for a second and get these all out of these sleeves. And we're back. So Silver Tempest did not give us absolute monsters. We did pull a V-Star, we did pull a trainer gallery card. Super cool start. We have a lot more Silver Tempest to come, so don't you worry about that. Um, you guys, I've been I've seeing the stories on Facebook and stuff, especially my local Facebook group. You guys have been killing it, so I cannot wait to open up more and show you some really cool things. Other than that, I mean, I am so lucky to be opening up Silver Tempest early. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me on my first look into it. I'm really excited about the set because there's tons of cards. Um, but you know, like I said, I had uh, Gudra V. I had um, about 15 more packs of Lost Origin at home. So I figured five more, five pack magic. Let's rip five um, over the next couple videos and see if we get lucky on completing anything else. I'll throw it right up there. There we go, personal chase card list. But like I said before, it is all about that alt art Aerodactyl. And also if you guys tuned in to that Charizard UPC opening and watched that video at the very end, me and Aaron did a 10 versus 10 pack battle and uh, he pulled a Giratina alt art right in front of me. I was like, dude, I have been opening packs like crazy that's like the first 10 packs he's opened a lost origin he's a store owner so he doesn't really get a chance to open a lot of packs he's selling them watching everyone else open up packs so absolutely amazing to see that somebody just randomly opens up those 10 packs and there it is giratina uh the video is hilarious i absolutely love it all right so flipping through we got one v card out of that i got two more packs to go Let's see how we do Lost Origin. Come through for me, Black Border card. All right, so we get a chance at a monster here and one more pack after this. Let's see how lucky we can get. As you guys can also see that I took everything down for Halloween, month of November, got things nice and clean to our white background. And then at the end of November, we will see the big transition into Christmas. Um, got some big videos planned, so we'll see what happens there and a holographic barbarical last pack let's do guess the energy i want you guys right now to think in your head black oh black border card thank you okay um guess the energy in your head what are you gonna go for i'm gonna go fire energy i haven't gotten one of these in a while so let's see and i still don't get it all right i do see something in the background um i think i've been fooled before but Regardless, guys, thank you so much. Uh, the YouTube channel is growing. I appreciate all the support, all the thumbs up that you guys give me. Uh, commenting on my videos, absolutely huge. Here it is, the last card is a uh, Zora Arc V-Star. So not the monster we're looking for, but we still have plenty of packs to go. Guys, I'll see you in the next video.